What's up everyone? It's Oliver coming back at you with another video. So I know I missed my upload date yesterday and that was on purpose and I'm sorry I didn't let anyone know about it or like post anything about it. But the reason is because today I had an appointment with the endocrinologist and I did an interview based on uh, gender affirming care. So I just kind of wanted to talk about all of that and have that be my video. So this is just going to be something really short, it's nothing really huge, uh, basically my appointment with the endocrinologist went really well, they uh, looked at my blood work, checked all of my levels and stuff, and said that I'm good to go and uh, get more testosterone pumped into my body the next time I get a shot. So I'm now going to be getting 100 milligrams of testosterone every month, and um, of my own choice I'm going to continue going to my family doctor to get my shots done. Um, I did have the option to uh, start learning to do it myself and doing it at home, but I decided that I'm not quite comfortable doing that on my own just yet. I'm going to continue going to the uh, doctor, like my family doctor, for another little while, probably until I have my next appointment with the endocrinologist, and then I will um, start learning to uh, administer the shots myself, and then I'll be prepared for when I go off to uh, university or whatever I choose to do. Um, next year for for those of you who don't really understand um how all of this works with my injections right now i'm just getting them every like once every month which means that my injections are kind of making my like wave of testosterone go up and down and then it's kind of stagnant for a bit and then up and down um and that's because i'm just receiving it the once a month um i i do have the option to go into my doctor and get it once every couple of weeks I think it was like once every other week um and that would make the line go a little bit more wavy so it's like up down up down kind of thing um which is still fairly slow and not quite the steady pulse that it should be um and then once I get to a point where I can administer myself I'd be administering um once a week um and it would be like an up and down and up and down and up and down like a steady rhythm um, which then would lead into me getting to a point where I could, like, use a gel or something like that every day, and then the line would be completely flat, and I would have a significant level of testosterone, con like, consistently in my body, and that's the point, um, that's, that's the place that we want to get to, that's where anyone wants to get to with their, uh, injections and their testosterone levels and all of that, like, that is the end goal for anyone who is taking testosterone or is going to be taking testosterone, so, uh, my next appointment with the endocrinologist is for another, like, five or six months, so, they really don't check up on me all that much, but, uh, as far as I understand, the testosterone is doing its thing, and, uh, my body isn't reacting negatively whatsoever to, uh, the testosterone. So, that's really good for me. Uh, the next thing that I did was I, uh, met up with somebody, uh, also at the hospital, um, and they just asked me a whole bunch of questions about, um, what it was like to receive gender-affirming care, and, um, how my... Um, expectations sort of played out through the process as well as just asking me of course a bunch of personal questions about myself and my transition and all of that to kind of get a feel for like who I am and all of that is going to be used towards a questionnaire for people who are about to receive gender affirming care and stuff like that um, I don't really know all of the details I just know that my interview process was about two hours long and they asked me a whole bunch of questions just about me in general, my transition to date, how it's been, what exactly things um, I've done, uh, things family, friends, whoever have done, how I've felt throughout the whole thing, and all of that. So I think it was really nice to get to share my story with somebody, and uh, hopefully that helps. They did also ask me if I wanted to go in again and um, uh, like be a part of the secondary questioning process once their like questionnaire survey whatever is built um, and then I can kind of give what I think um, sorry um, I can sort of like give my opinion on the questions and like scales and stuff that they came up with based off of mine and obviously like 40 some odd other people's um, answers to their questions in their interviews so um, that's what I was doing today, and that's why I wanted to postpone my video, so that I could come to you guys with this update and kind of let you know, like, what's going on, and actually make a video about stuff that is, like, trans-related for once in my life. I can tell you something trans-related.
yeah <laughs> kind of crazy i know i don't talk about this stuff very much and that's mainly because i'm not really getting anywhere i'm really not um as i said before i am waiting for my appointment with uh for top surgery haven't even gotten a call about getting my consultation set up which means that i'm not even close to excuse me getting my um official appointment date but at least some of this is a step in the right direction and um learning with oliver that's what this is that's what that's what we're here for today and that's pretty well the video i know this is super short and i'm sorry i'm basically just talking for a few minutes but um yeah i i pretty well just finished this uh interview and uh, appointment thing and my dad is currently in the grocery store getting some groceries and i yeah, i decided to not go because i hate getting groceries that's just a personal thing but anyways thank you guys so much for coming to check this out and again i'm sorry i didn't upload like i was supposed to but again there was this reason and uh <sighs> thank you guys for always being patient and supporting me in every way possible it means so much and i know i say that all the time but i i feel like everyone needs to hear it like all the time so <sighs> as i like to say at the end of all of my videos all the all the oxygen free.